University of Texas at El Paso College of Engineering, in collaboration with Halliburton, presents Centrifugal Pump. Before using any machinery, make sure to wear the proper personal protective equipment. When pumping fluid in a centrifugal pumping system, it is important to design your system with a net positive suction head, NPSH, to prevent cavitation. Cavitation occurs when vapor bubbles form ahead of the pumping impeller due to pressure drop in the pumping system. As the bubbles enter the pump and are swept along the impeller vanes, they implode due to a rising external pressure around the bubble. The implosion creates a shock wave, which impinges on the impeller vanes and face, which damage the impeller and pitting, erosion, and failure can occur. This activity also creates noise, and the pumping efficiency declines due to the high amount of vapor in the system. The boiling point of a fluid is a function of pressure and temperature. At normal atmospheric pressure, water can boil and create vapor bubbles at 212 Fahrenheit. If there is a large pressure drop in the system, the liquid will reach its vapor pressure at a relatively low temperature. For this lab, we will simulate a pressure drop as scenario. In a typical pumping system, a series of piping bends, valves, transitions, and the location of the supply reservoir ahead of the pumping pillar can be responsible for creating enough of a cumulative pressure drop to form vapor bubbles in the system. It is here where a pressure drop will occur possibly enough to form vapor bubbles. The operator panel of the pump lab consists on a mastery power key, a prime pump on-off switch, and a control keypad. The view flow circuit consists on inlet valve, inlet pressure sensor, pump impeller, exit pressure sensor, flow meter, and an outlet valve. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.